In this session, we will discuss about point form of gas law. Uh, before discussing about point form of gas law, let us try to understand the meaning of divergence. So, the divergence of uh, any vector uh, function, let us say electric flux density, is uh, defined as the flux leaving the closed surface per unit volume as the volume tends to zero. So, let us consider a region where the flux density is present. Okay. Here, let us construct a closed volume. So, let us say the volume of uh, this element is, uh, let us say, delta V and uh, uh, let us say we have this uh, flux lines in arbitrary directions here. So, the de definition of uh, the divergence uh, is uh, something like this. So, it is the defined as the flux leaving the closed surface. So, the flux leaving the closed surface is given by surface integral of d dot ds over this closed surface per unit volume as the volume tends to 0. So, in the limit, this ratio will give the divergence of the vector function. In this case, it is electric flux density. So, this is the symbol for divergence. So, to repeat, the divergence of electric flux density is defined as the flux leaving the closed surface, that is this numerator term, per unit volume as the volume tends to 0. So, it is nothing but the net outward flux per unit volume as the volume tends to 0. Let us try to derive the expression for divergence in rectangular coordinates. So, let us say this region in which the flux is, flux density is varying arbitrary. So, at this point, let us consider a point uh, P at uh, x, y, z. So, this point P is at uh, x, y, z and uh, let us say at P, the flux density is given by dx, ax plus dy, ay plus dz, az. So, with uh, P as uh, one of the corners, we will uh, construct a differential volume element. So, here this P at, at P x, x, y, z flux density is given by this term. So, this is uh, dx, this, that is delta x, delta y and this length is delta z. So, we will uh, obtain now the flux uh, leaving the closed surface. So, the flux leaving the closed surface it uh, consists of uh, six phases. So, the flux leaving the closed surface can be written as the flux leaving the back surface, the flux leaving the front surface, So, the flux uh, leaving the closed surface, it is a sum of the flux leaving the back surface plus the flux leaving the front surface, the flux leaving the left surface, the flux leaving the right surface, and the flux leaving the top and bottom surfaces. Here, the flux leaving the back surface is uh, given by minus dx. 
here the flux leaving are entering the back surfaces only due to the x component so therefore only dx is taken here and uh, because uh, uh, the flux is entering here we will take uh, this negative sign if the flux is leaving we will take with a positive sign if the flux is entering the surface we will take with a negative sign and the area of the back surface is delta z into delta y and the flux leaving the front surface so here the flux density that is again the x component of the flux density is uh, leaving this uh, surface the front surface but the value of the flux density at this point is or at this surface is d at x plus delta x because uh, this is x this is x plus delta x and again the area is delta y and delta z but using Taylor series expansion this uh, flux density at x plus delta x that is uh, x component of flux density can be written as dx plus dou dx by dou x into delta x into delta y delta z so here in the Taylor series expansion the higher order term that is second order and higher order terms are neglected so by adding uh, these two terms that is the flux leaving the back surface and the flux leaving the front surface we get the sum as dou dx by dou x into delta x delta y and delta z which is nothing but delta v So, flux leaving the front and back surfaces is given by dou dx by dou x into delta v. The flux leaving uh, the left and right, uh, right sides of the volume element. So, by a similar uh, analysis, it can be shown that it is dou dy by dou y into delta y. And similarly, here the sum of the fluxes leaving the top and bottom surface is given by dou dz by dou z into delta v and therefore the the net flux which is leaving the closed surface is given by dou dx by dou x plus dou dy by dou y plus dou dz by dou z into delta v So therefore, we can see that the ratio of uh, the flux leaving the closed surface to the volume of the element as this delta V tends to 0 is given by dou dx by dou x plus dou dy by dou y plus dou dz by dou z so there is nothing but the divergence of the flux density so here in the limit as uh, delta v tends to 0 we can replace this approximate by approximate sign by equal sign So in rectangle coordinates, the divergence of D we have derived. Similarly, by taking volume elements in uh, cylindrical coordinates, the divergence of D can be obtained uh, this way. And uh, in spherical coordinates, the divergence of uh, D is given by this expression. If we consider the volume element uh, again in rectangle coordinates, the flux leaving the closed surface is uh, equal to the net charge enclosed in the surface 
and if we divide uh, both sides by delta v and taking the limit as delta v tends to 0, we will be getting limit of delta v tends to 0. So, this quantity is nothing but the volume charge density and uh, this is the definition of divergence. So, therefore, we can see that divergence of D is equal to rho V. So, this is known as point form of Gauss law or it is also called as differential form of Gauss law. So, let us say we have a region wherein there is a charge distribution and it is uh, given by rho V. So, at any point in this uh, region, if you take a differential volume element and if you take uh, the limit uh, of uh, this flux leaving the closed surface per unit volume as the volume tends to zero, then we get uh, a net value for the divergence. That is, uh, divergence of D is equal to rho V. That means there is a net output flux is there at all these points. But uh, suppose if you consider this point here, here there is no uh, charge here or charge distribution is there. So, at this point, even though there may be flux lines may be there, but uh, the divergence is zero here. Because the charge density at this point is zero, the divergence of uh, T at this point is zero. Whereas, in this region, the divergence of D is given by the charge density at that point.